1 million opening weekend, according to studio estimate Sunday, as the last big movie of Hollywood's summer recovery landed in theaters. The bullet train debut for Sony Pictures was solid but unspectacular for a movie that cost $90 million to make and was propelled by Pitt's substantial star power. While late summer is always a quiet period in theaters, it will be especially so this year, and likely to sap some of the momentum stirred by Top Gun, Maverick, Jurassic World, Dominion, Minions, The Rise of Gru and others. It's definitely going to be quieter, like the calm after the storm, said Paul Jagarabedian, senior media analyst for data firm Comscore. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be great movies out there, and perhaps the goodwill generated by some of those films might be enough to buoy the box office until we get into the blockbuster quarter with Black Panther, Wakanda Forever and Avatar 2 down the road. We have to expect that we're not going to be able to keep up the pace we had this summer. As one of the few original would-be summer blockbusters without big-name intellectual property behind it, the R-rated bullet train might have come into the weekend with more momentum, if reviews had been stronger. With a low 54% fresh rating from critics on Rotten Tomatoes, Bullet Train was only slightly better received by audiences, who gave the film a B-plus cinema score. The film added $32.4 million in overseas box office. The weekend's other new wide release, Easter Sunday, struggled to catch on. The Universal Pictures comedy, starring comic Joe Coy as an actor attending his family's Easter Sunday celebration, won praise for its Filipino representation, but drew even worse reviews than Bullet Train. It opened with $5.3 million in ticket sales. Instead, Bullet Train was trailed by a number of holdovers, including Warner Bros. Jordan Peele's Nope, the Universal sci-fi horror release, continued to perform well, earning $8.5 million in its third weekend. With $98 million in tickets sold, Nope will soon surpass $100 million at the domestic box office. Taika Waititi's Thor, Love and Thunder, for the Walt Disney Company. One million, making it the highest grossing Thor movie domestically. In limited release, A24's Bodies 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 launched on six screens in New York and Los Angeles with $226,525 in ticket sales, good for a per-screen average of $37,754. The horror comedy about rich 20-somethings at a remote house party, with a cast including Amanda Sternberg, Maria Bakalova and Pete Davidson, expands nationwide on Friday. Final domestic figures will be released Tuesday.1. Bullet Train, $30. Five million. Four. Thor, Love and Thunder, seven point six million dollars. Five. Minions, The Rise of Gru, seven dollars. One million. Six. Top Gun, Maverick, seven million dollars. Seven. Where the Crowded Sing, five dollars.